All right, gang, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be talking a little bit more about figuring out the best quality prompts for ChatGPT that will help get us better content. So I'm going to show you a few things here. And um, as we walk through them, I'll kind of give you an analysis. But first and foremost, hopefully you have by now the AI PRM extension. It's a Chrome tool, and it is just loaded up with all sorts of ChatGPT prompts. So I get a lot of questions on this, and that is where this interface comes from. Um, and there's a few things that we're going to do with this. So first and foremost, what we're going to do is take a look at some of these prompts. Now, obviously, these are just the surface names for all of these, but we actually want to see what these prompts are all about. So in particular, I'm just going to grab one of them. Uh, we're just going to go over here to the topic, and I'm just going to go to SEO, and we're going to go to writing. All right, so we're going to pick one of these. I think the ones I've looked at already. Let's say I'm going to look at the fully optimized uh, SEO optimized article, including FAQs. So what I could do is I can click on this and down here that's going to pop up and let's just type in something here. Uh, it's going to say keyword or title. So I'm just going to put chat GPT for SEO and I'm going to hit that. Now it's going to start yapping. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit stop generating. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click off of that and then I'm going to click back on it again. Now, when we do that in this uh, extension, now we can actually see what the prompt is. So if we look up here at the top, that is what has been generated. So when we go through here, what we want to do is obviously evaluate this and say this is the prompt that is clearly people like it is being used to generate this content. But the next thing we want to wonder is how do we make it better? How do we build on top of what this individual has already done? So if you read through here, there's a bunch of stuff writing a 100% unique creative article uh, using contractions, idioms, and so forth, interjections, blah, blah, blah. Um, we want to include a creative title, SEO meta description. So this is all good stuff. Bullet points, I think it's a good place to start. Make sure it's plagiarism free, good thing to include. It did recommend trying to write an article of 1500 words. Of course, we may or may not want that and include, include a question mark at the end of uh, questions, blah, 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 chat GPT for SEO. So this is the section right here that the keyword goes into. So, but the point is, is that what we're getting here is this prompt that we can use as our foundation to build on top of it. And what I'm trying to figure out as of always is what is the structure of pages and blog posts and so forth that do really well. Now, when it comes to SEO, there is a lot of stuff that makes something rank, backlinks, uh, site authority, all that kind of stuff. But there's a lot of other things that we need to consider. So right now, kind of the trend is, and of course I do this as well, going into tools like Surfer SEO and trying to get rankings up really high on these content scores, right? So to some degree, I think it's a good practice just to look at what's currently already ranking from this very kind of like number specific basis and trying to hit all these numbers with including words and so forth. But there's also other elements that are probably helping those pages rank, especially the content on the page. So what we're going to do is to try to do a little fact finding here and find out what's going on. And we're going to use ChatGPT4 to help us figure that out. So what I'm going to do is take that obviously uh, prompt right there and build on top of it with some new things that we're going to find. So what I did is I'm going to go over here to this one here. I've already done a little bit of work and I'm going to scroll all the way up. So I did this in GPT-4, just so you know. And what I did is I asked and I'm going to paste in a blog post below that is very well written and is SEO optimized. I want you to read through it and I want you to make notes on how it is structured and give me notes about your findings. Do you understand? So I'm tinkering with this a lot of different ways for that initial prompt to, to not give away too much, but to see what ChatGPT comes out with in terms of what it notices about the general structure of a well-ranking blog post. So what I did, and this is one of the benefits, is uh, pasting in a lot of text. I went over here to Neil Patel's website and I just grabbed one of his posts. They're all pretty well SEO optimized. So um, you could, of course, do this with any competitor or any kind of uh, site that you think has a good structure and is ranking really well that we can model. But what I did is I pasted that super long article in there, or that blog post, and 
this is what it came back as. It says, after analyzing the blog post here, my findings on its structure and its SEO optimization. So it goes through all of these things. And what I want you to pay attention to in particular is the languaging that is used. So title and introduction, it says the title is clear, it's relevant, and it's focused on a specific topic. So these are the clues of how we want to update the existing foundation um, prompt. Is it using clear, relevant, and focused on a specific topic? If we include that prompt, that is the output. This is how ChatGPT is going to understand how to get what we want, okay? We want to effectively capture the reader's attention by stating the main topic and its importance, et cetera. We look at the headlines and structure. It's also gonna give us the language. Headings should be clear, concise, and describe the content of each section. So this is all gonna be ways that we can improve our prompts. Um, There's some other ones in here. Keyword usage, the post effectively uses relevant keywords throughout the content, okay? The keyword usage should, not be should be natural and not forced, right? There's another prompt that we can use, okay? And as we go through here, we're just gonna take a lot of that information and of course I can manually go in and update that prompt, which I will, but I could also go back and say here, what information would you need from me in order to create a blog post with this structure? So now what ChatGPT comes back with and says, create a new blog post, this is what I need from you. And it literally goes point by point, great. Now, can you give me a single prompt that encapsulates all those needs and to use those parentheses there where I need to input the necessary components and here we go. So ChatGPT4 here gives me the single prompt with the information that is needed. Some things in there, like for example, it'll say images. We obviously cannot input images, but I asked it to, uh, in, what should I do to input image one? And it does say that we would in, increase or add text in order to tell us what it's about. So of course we could admit that part if we want to. Now, some of these things that are also missing, which we need to be aware of, is nowhere in there is the tone included. So we can, of course, go back and we can say, what is the tone of the original blog post that I pasted in? And then it says the tone was informative, professional, and engaging, okay? It effectively conveys information, it's approachable tone. So now we can use that to further improve our prompt, okay? so. We have these options to just kind of copy and paste all these other prompts that people are delivering for us, but without questioning kind of like the quality of them. So obviously that prompt that I showed you from AIPRM is okay, it's good, but we're always looking to upgrade those prompts. And what we need to do is to be able to go into ChatGPT and enter in examples of things that are doing really well, that are ranking really well, and start to pick apart and analyze them for other things than just this uh, content score thing, like I said, that we were looking at with something like Surfer SEO. That's great, but how do we get the best of all of that? And this is what finding these new prompts uh, that are upgraded are gonna be all about. So as always, I encourage you to go in and to play with this a little bit. Uh, of course, I will copy and paste this prompt down in the description box below, but hopefully that kind of stimulates your imagination and creativity so you can design even better prompts. And of course, feel free to share them below this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you uh, liked this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you comment, of course, keep involved in the community and subscribe to this channel for more videos on these topics. Thanks for watching.